I didn't think it'd be possible, but here we are. SETI Astro Automatic Background Extraction. Welcome to SETI Astro. Well, I think longtime followers of my channel will know that I made Auto DBE and Pix Insight. It was a method of combining gradient correction with automatic placement of sample points such that we could leverage actual gradient correction techniques without relying on AI since AI tended to uh, remove some nebulosity and structure. And I had a quite a bit of a rant couple videos on uh, various other processes that tended to remove a lot of structure out of images. One of the biggest requests I ever had was, can, can I make auto DBE or ADBE standalone? And I've always kind of pushed it off, but that day has come. So I was experimenting around with things like uh, polynomial gradient removal, RBF gradient removal, bringing in uh, gradient descent to help with sample points, all, all those things that we were using in ADBE, custom weighting schemes, minimizing noise influences on the actual gradients generated. So after putting together just really some test code here to see if this was doable for me, even in the first place. This is my go-to test image because um, automatic gradient removals really have a hard time with how big Andromeda is right in the middle. There's a big gradient in the background. So I, I did make a, a freehand exclusion zone thing now, which I think is a lot better than drawing the rectangles. You can, you can be a lot more precise with this. And, and this was my test. I'm just gonna set it off and running. And with my test code, this, this was the result. Here was our original image with the exclusion zones I drew on it. Here was the polynomial degree two background it extracted. Here were the points that it used for the polynomial removal. And then it does a different set of points after that extraction for the RBF model. Here's the RBF model that um, really just fine tunes the overall gradient correction. And then, you know, here's the, the final gradient correction and the, the corrected image in the background. And I was like, oh my gosh, th this is it. This is probably even better than ADBE in all honesty. So uh, just look at how amazing that, that total background extraction was there. I had to get this into SETI Astro Suite main priority. So head over to SETIastro.com under Astro Program, SETI Astro Suite, uh, and grab version 2.6. So I know I promised a video uh, processing workflow in SETI Astro Suite. I think this was too important. Uh, so that'll have to go to the next video. I, I really wanted to get my SETI Astro automatic background extraction in here. When you get uh, version 2.6, you'll, you'll see even further changes. So we got an open, a save, undo, and redo buttons up here. Again, these are, uh, you, you can kind of put these toolbars wherever you want. You could, you could even pull them outside if you, if you so choose, you know, just what, whatever, however you want to adjust your workspace to, to make it nice for you, you absolutely can here. Under functions, you're going to find remove gradient with SETI Astro ABE. That's uh, SOB. That's my uh, acronym for this, S-A-A-B-E. Now let's go ahead and, and load an image. We'll go ahead and put our, our huge Andromeda image back in here. And now when you go ahead and click either the button for remove gradient correction with SETI Astro ABE or functions remove gradient, it's going to open another preview window for you. And this is the one, all you gotta do is uh, just click and start drawing and you can draw exclusion areas. Over here we have the number of sample points. I have it defaulted at 100. Depending on how severe the gradient is, you may want like 200 points if you got really some sharp divisions in there. The poly degree, that's the, the simple gradient it's going to remove first. Uh, I have it defaulted on two. If you notice you have a nice linear gradient in the background, you could, you could always make that a one. And then the RBF smoothness factor 
this is not the same kind of smoothness as you may see in like Graxpert AI smoothness where it, it really like convolves the, the image and, and makes it really, really smooth. This is the actual RBF smoothness in the mathematical algorithm on how closely it's going to try to align the gradient to the sample point areas. A default of 0 0.1 is pretty good. If you notice some smaller structure in there, just, just increase it. A one, it's going to be very, very smooth. If you want it to be crazy sharp, uh, you can go down to zero. You can click show the gradient that was removed. I do have an auto stretch. We'll look at a linear image here in a second. Uh, there's a button to clear the exclusion areas if you drew it all funky and then, and then just process. And down at the bottom here, it's gonna tell you what it's doing. It was normalizing the image. Now it's doing the polynomial gradient removal. Now it's doing the RBF gradient removal. Denormalizing. And it's complete. It'll tell you that it was complete. And then we have our uh, image here, which has no more gradient in it. L look at that. I'll do control Z so you could see the before. There's the before. And the after. And then we did say show gradient. So, so where's our gradient? If you go up to slots, it just put it in the next slot for us. Here, here's slot one. Here, here's the gradient it removed. And, and look at that, no, no Andromeda anywhere in this. It, it just strictly removed the gradient in there. There's an auto stretch button uh, where you can really stretch it hard to see, you know, what was in the gradient itself. But uh, that, that'll be really useful on, on linear images. So let's go ahead and just load up another image here. Let's, let's do a linear one. Now for this one, I, I actually loaded in just a, a mono XISF file. It's one of my masters. You can see it's, it's linear, uh, but we can go ahead and click my SETI Astro ABE. You can still see it's linear there. We could do an auto stretch. And now here's the auto stretch of it. We want to show the gradient. Uh, this looks pretty linear. Uh, I mean, maybe we could try a poly degree one. I'm just going to leave it at the point one and, and 100 dots right now and process. Then it's complete. The gradient's been removed. It's still linear, so, so you really can't see it, right? So you may want to take it in uh, over to like the cosmic clarity section just to do a, a quick auto stretch. And there's our image. Look how flat that image is. And then again, you can go to slots, slot one. Here's our, it's our linear gradient now, right? So we'll have to use the auto stretch. And, and there's, there's what it pulled out. So I'm really excited that I finally have essentially ADBE outside of uh, PI for everybody to use. Uh, while inside PI, I know I'm going to be using ADBE. And just remember what this is actually doing. It's, it's not doing any, it's not doing any AI kind of guess as to what, what the background is. It, it's, it's using sample points. It's um, using known poly gradient correction, RBF background correction to really get the best of both where you kind of still have your one click and you get your perfect gradient correction. I, that, that's why I've been a big proponent, proponent of ADBE this, this whole time. If you want to watch my other ADBE videos and uh, my rants on certain other gradient correction processes, uh, be sure to search my, my YouTube channel. Uh, uh, I, I, I go off on some stuff. But uh, I, I'm super excited about this for everybody. It's available now. Uh, I hope you all get some great use out of it. Please comment, like, and subscribe.